I want to take this opportunity to just say that we are here gathered this morning in a very historic, for the first time in the history of the Gambia Police Force, to commemorate the deaths of our colleagues. I'm sorry today, I am not in good order because these are my own colleagues who I came together. So you could permit me with the way I'm handling the situation. Because it's a day I remember when I got the news that my colleagues were assault on active duty. And I know many of you are feeling the same the very moment that you had that information. So please permit me, I wouldn't go into the details. I will just invite Commissioner for Anti-Crime to make an opening remark, please. We gathered here today with a mix of sorrow, pride, and gratitude as we remember and honor the lives of our officers, that is PC Sanjay Gomez and PC Pate Jallo, who were tragically killed in the line of duty one year ago and to recognize the remarkable strength of officers, Officer W. Sergeant and Sejao, who survived the terrible day with serious injury, injuries. The past year has been one of deep reflection, loss, and healing for our department, their families, and the wider community. While we can never erase the pain of losing two brave souls, we gather here today to ensure that their memories live on, not just in words, but in actions and commitment we make moving forward. Officers PC Sanjay Gomez and PC Pate Jallo embodied the finest quality of public service, dedication, courage, and unyielding commitment to the safety of others. They made the ultimate sacrifice in the line of duty, a sacrifice that reflects the risk of our officers face every day in pursuit of justice and peace. Their loss is deeply felt. Their absence leaves a void in our hearts and in our community. To Officer W. Sergeant Ansejao, who survived despite the immense physical and emotional challenges, we express our deepest admiration for your resilience and strength. You have faced adversely with bravery, and we honor your continued dedication to the force and to the values you and your fellow officers stand for. To the families of these officers, we acknowledge that words can fill the void of your loss. Your loved ones were not only heroes in uniform, but cherished members of your families. And we stand with you in solidarity and support for eternity. Today, as we remember Officer Sanjay Gomez and Pate Jallo, we are reminded of the values that drives our commitment to public safety, duty, sacrifice, and service to others. Their legacy is carried forward by each of us. And it is our responsibility to honor their memories by holding these values in everything we do. Thank you all for joining us today to honor the memories of our fallen heroes and to acknowledge the strength and resilience of, these, of those who continue to serve. Before ending my speech, I also take this opportunity to thank the Inspector General of Police, Sidi Mukhtar Ture, and his senior management for their outstanding leadership and the remarkable role to make this day a, possible, a possibility to commemorate this important day in our police calendar. Most of our fallen colleagues, PC8220, Pato M. Jalo, and PC8465, Sang P. Gomez.
the family of the sole surviving officer, Madam Ansi Jalo, a sergeant. Ladies and gentlemen, protocols duly and respectfully observed. It is with a very heavy heart that I address you today. We are gathered here to remember our gallant heroes, Pate and Sang, who paid the ultimate price in the service of our country. 12 September 2023, at approximately 2100 hours, a single male assailant armed with a 9mm caliber Makarov pistol alighted from a black BMW car and fired eight rounds at our now deceased colleagues at point blank range. The assailant sought a third officer who miraculously survived. We are profoundly grateful to the Almighty Allah for sparing our colleagues, Sergeant 8839 and Sijawa's life. This fateful day, the lives of these young patriots were snuffed out. Their families, friends and loved ones were robbed of their sweet company. Their dreams, promised and unrealized potentials died with them on that fateful night. Constables Jao and Gomez, dressed up in their smart police uniforms, bade farewell to their colleagues and family and left their houses in good spirit to serve our beloved nation. It was a normal day like any other day for them. Neither pieces Jao and Gomez nor their respective families expected to be told later that evening that they are no more. Their walls were shattered with devastating news of their demise, like any human being who has lost a loved one. We are all shocked and saddened by this incident. We at Gambia Police Force will continue to remember them in our prayers for as long as we live. We pray that the Almighty Allah, God, forgive their shortcomings and grant their gentle souls eternal rest in the highest Janna and Das Paradise. Today is exactly one year since their demise. And in line with service tradition, we will hold such remembrance parade to honor them for their commendable service to the people of the Gambia. I humbly call on all Gambians to remember the fallen heroes and pray for their gentle souls to rest in peace. In as much as it's a noble profession, policing is a dangerous job that comes with high risk to men and women in uniform. Despite the attendant risk, every day we suit up and show up for no other reason but the love for our nation. We want to take this opportunity to commend the gallant men and women of Gambia Police Force for their steadfastness and dedication to duty. The senior management of Gambia Police Force is grateful to you and your family who let you serve your country despite all the dangers and challenges. I would like to conclude by praying to the Almighty God to grant fortitude to the bereaved families to bear the irreparable loss. It is who who gives and he who takes. That's the Inspector General of Police, Yudhi Mukhtar, to be laying the raft in place for PC Patalo and PC Sang J. Gomez. That's Patel's uncle, Samba. That's Sang's father, Mr. John Gomez. The operations party, Jalo, there, laying the 
for both Pate Jalo and San Gomez. AIG operation there. AIG operation, thank you very much. Commissioner Basange, Commissioner mm -hmm. for Police Intervention mm -hmm. Unit there. Commissioner for Anti-Crime, Commissioner Momodu saw there, laying the reef for both PC Pate Jalo and PC Sanjay Gomez. Commissioner Momodu saw, thank you, Commissioner. Now we have the sole or the only survivor of the three who encountered the assailant, Ansi Jao. Sergeant Ansi Jao, who will also play the read for his colleagues. Please. 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 